Oh, another day of long lectures. I have three more hours to watch of this. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Oh, damn, I almost almost fell asleep there. Oh, oh it's this lecture is kind of boring. At least at least I didn't fall asleep. Good thing good thing I'm not falling asleep and I'm gonna Damn, I kinda I kinda wanna watch some anime. I still have a lot of anime left to watch. There's a lot of good stuff coming out recently. Uh -huh. Oh jeez, I almost fell asleep daydreaming about anime. Hey Doc. Hey Josh, long time no see, how's it been? How's school going? How's school going so far? It, it's uh, kind of horrible actually. Yeah, that, that's great to hear, that's great to hear. What brings you in today? Yeah, I, I just haven't been able to focus really well recently. I, I don't know what it Ooh, is. We've been, we've been seeing that a lot recently. Yeah, it looks like you have the itch. Like herpes? No, 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 what, what you have is way worse than herpes. What you have is something really serious yeah. known as the anime itch. Now I have a small problem. You see, I recently started watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventure because of TikTok, and I'm kind of addicted. But at the same time, this week is exam week. Now, now normally on exam week, I just kind of become a hermit, sit in one corner and study for 8 to 12 hours a day for an entire week. But you see, four or five exams have passed, and now I feel like I have the hang of things a little bit more. So this week, I'm going to be testing the limit. The limit of how much anime I can physically watch while still performing at a maximum level. Because you see, the thing is, I can't wait. The only thing I think about is finishing JoJo's Bazaar right now. I can't wait an entire week to finish this exam and then finish the whole thing. So I'm going to see how much I can watch while studying for exams and still doing a quality job. Now to get this done, I'm going to be using a method I invented called Anime Doro, where I'm going to be studying in cycles of 45 minutes and then watching an episode of anime and then repeating these cycles. Peep the views. Now the first day was definitely the hardest just because it was a Saturday and it was hardest to get back into the momentum of actually wanting to study. Normally on Saturdays, I take the day off to just do whatever I want. But after the first two or three sessions, things got a lot smoother and I was able to just continually study and then watch anime and it didn't really bother me. Whew, that felt good. Now on to the next. Short break to get lunch. Now for lunch I had some Chinese food and a bubble tea and after finishing 9 cycles I went back to my apartment to continue studying. On to cycle 9. It's a new day, about to start our 13th cycle. Just being honest, studying that much on a Saturday did take a lot out of me. I don't know what it is, maybe like messed up circadian rhythms or something from the fact that I don't normally study on Saturdays. But Sunday went off to a little bit of a slower start just because of that. But I did start studying earlier than I did on Saturday. Sunday was a lot more relaxed vibes. I studied a lot on the couch, I studied on my bed, which I know a lot of people tell you you shouldn't do. I studied on the desk. Just try to change up the setting a lot, just have the motivation to keep going. Here's a quick view of the 20 minute meal I make for myself. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. After dinner, I did three more sessions, and then after that, watched a couple more episodes of anime before going to sleep. I had a little bit of an early night just because I had a clinical skills exam the next day. Alrighty, we have our clinical skills exam later today at around 2.45. Shooting for maybe 10 cycles. I'm feeling pretty refreshed and awake today. Now before the clinical skills exam started, I went to the library and just did four cycles of Anime Doro. Now this was probably the last day that I was going to be spending doing content review. So I did a lot of Anki and I reviewed the rest of the lectures. Alright, time for the exam. Now after the clinical skills exam, I finished two more cycles of Anime Doro at the library and then I decided to go home, but for some reason that day there decided to be the largest, coldest snowstorm in the history of Philadelphia. The day before it was like 60 degrees, but for some reason that day my fingers and toes were so cold they almost froze off. 
Wow, wow. So I've been home for like 30 seconds and now it's gorgeous outside. But like when I'm struggling biking outside, I'm freezing to death and it's super snowy and stuff. What the hell? In the afternoon, I did three more cycles, one of which was on a treadmill just so I can get some exercise in for the day. Okay, just finished my 10th session of the day. That is actually all I'm gonna be doing for the day. I'm actually quite a bit ahead of schedule. Surprising, right? I feel great. I'm actually gonna spend the rest of the night probably just watching more episodes of JoJo. Now the next day, just to change things up a little bit and keep things interesting, I spent the beginning of the day in the first few cycles studying at this pretty cool coffee shop that's pretty aesthetic. You can look around and see that everything is made of wood. There's a really nice and bright ambiance. And personally, I don't really drink coffee, so I just bought myself this cream soda. It was not bad. And the place was pretty quiet. Not a lot of people were there. So it was a relatively vibey, aesthetic place to study. All right, back home, about to eat dinner. Only have around four more sessions for the day, but for sure, I'm feeling a little bit tired, not from doing this, just in general. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that many sessions. Today's only probably gonna come out to around nine. It's gonna give me a little bit of time to maybe get a short workout in at the end of the day as well. I did a few more sessions when I went home and I even took a short nap, but, but the studying for the rest of the night was a lot more chill compared to the first two days of studying. Now day five, I placed a much stronger emphasis on completing practice questions. Some of these practice questions were from school, some of them were from third party resources, and some of them were from textbooks. You know what's crazy? Already on the JoJo season four finale. <clears throat> that means I'm the, that means I am 59 episodes in and I still have one more day. I did go out for lunch and spent one session studying at this little park that I found that was really aesthetic. I didn't even know that it existed in the middle of the city and that was pretty nice. But other than that, it was just completing practice questions at home. All right, it's Wednesday night and I just finished my final session and I would say I am basically done studying. This week so far, I'm up to, I would say 52 sessions. I think tomorrow I'm only gonna do two or three more. And that gives me the rest of the day plus the rest of tomorrow to just relax, watch. <laughs> Spend the entire day pretty much watching anime, maybe play a little bit of Valorant, but it's a nice day off before the actual exam. So I finally finished studying and honestly right now I feel great. I feel I feel really prepared for this exam. I feel more prepared for this exam actually than for the last exam that I took. And I also feel like I'm in a great mental headspace. Like right now I feel really free. I feel ready to take this exam compared to some of the other exams where by the time it came time to take the test, I just wanted to get it over with. I was like, screw this. I managed to complete 52 cycles of Anime Doro and I managed to watch 75 episodes of anime in this entire time, which is pretty ridiculous. That's 15 episodes a day. Now obviously not all of these episodes I watched were during Anime Doro sessions. Sometimes I'd watch an episode during lunch or dinner or I'd watch the hour before I went to sleep. But the point I'm trying to make and what I'm trying to prove is even in your busiest days, if you're really particular about how you spend your time and when you are actually doing work, you do it well then there's a lot of time that you can actually spend doing things you enjoy. In my case, it's watching anime. If you, in your case, you could be spending time with friends or you could be doing some other hobby that you enjoy. Even in your really busy periods of life, unless you actually have to physically be in some place for like 10 hours, if it's just like you have to study a lot, you have a lot of time to do things that you would actually want to do. I hope this video gave you guys a little inspiration that even when you're really busy, it's okay to take care of yourself and do things that you enjoy. And uh, I'm gonna be making an update reaction video on how I actually performed on this test when it comes out. So anyways, I take the test tomorrow and I hope everything goes well. Anyways, I take the test tomorrow and I hope everything goes well. As always, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.